Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be giving you a guide on how to improve your FPS in Minecraft 1.8. This is going to be a great guide for anyone who has an old or slower computer as well as those people who took a big performance hit when they upgraded to 1.8 from 1.7 because I know some people went from having 60 frames per second in 1.7 to like 15 to 10 frames per second in 1.8 which is just ridiculous but hopefully today I'll be able to solve your FPS problem for you. Uh, but the first step to this is to click the link below in the description to go download Optifine for Minecraft 1.8 as it was just released recently. It's a full version and it will definitely help your FPS and this is the basis of this guide. So make sure to go download that, install it, and then come back to this video. So, uh, the way I'm going to approach this video is a little bit different than some people because I know a lot of people they say in their videos, Hey, we're going to show you how to get the best FPS in Minecraft with it still looking good. And I'm kind of going to do that eventually in this video but my main focus is to drop minecraft down to the lowest it can go to get the best fps out of it that's definitely going to help real, uh, people with really really old computers and this is what i really aim to fix so i know a lot of people uh they they find out about minecraft and they're like i want to play it but they have an older computer that can't really play it i've been there i've played on an older computer that couldn't play minecraft and i had sucky frames and i aim to help those people because i know what it's like it is not fun to play minecraft at low frames no it's not so i'm gonna be showing you how to drop minecraft down to the lowest it can go and then eventually um, once we do that you can mess with the settings yourself and figure out what works best for you to get uh, to balance out performance and look so let's get started here uh, there's also some options in this that are going to be good for people, or only good for people to have certain things like single core CPUs. There's some options just for that computer. Uh, I'll be telling you how to work with that stuff because I'm going to be basing this um, off of my computer. So there's some settings I'm not going to mess with or um, uh, turn on because they won't help or anything with my computer. So, uh, like my friend Max has a single core CPU in his uh, desktop. This could help him out. I don't know if he's going to watch it or not, but. This is going to help them out, so let's get started. So obviously you want to go to uh, video settings here. Sorry I had to pause the video for a second there, but you want to go to video settings and you want to change it to fast here. Now, this is kind of a problem with Optifine right now. It kind of, oh actually I forgot to show you all uh, my FPS with it on right now. Because this is my default playing settings. My recording settings differ a little bit, but this is my default playing settings. And uh, surprisingly I'm getting decently FPS right now. What is going on? Oh there it goes. Oh god, yeah. See, it, it, it'll drop down a little bit sometimes when I play on these settings, especially while I'm recording, so, yeah, but anyways, so let's go ahead and go back in the options, you want to change the fast. Now, uh, you might notice the leaves look a little bit not uh, like they're supposed to. Uh, this is a bug with Optifine, but already my FPS is in increasing, it's staying in the 60s, it's going to the 50s, it's better than it was before, even with this really ugly trees on, but... Definitely put that on fast, and when you go up to render distance here, far is, was the default, now it's like 32. You can just drop that down a tiny there, and as you can see, uh, the game is increased in FPS here to like the hundreds, which is legit, so definitely do that. Go back in here, and take smooth lighting, we'll turn that off and drag this uh, smooth lighting level all the way down as well. And now you can see the game is looking a bit like it did back in the beta days, and the alpha days. We're getting about uh, 200 FPS. <laughs> you see that? I was at 200 for a second. That's crazy. Uh, anyways, and view bobbing. Uh, I don't know if that really affects FPS that much. I, I would just turn it off just in case. Uh, GUI scale, as it says, smaller might be better for you. I'm going to leave mine on large because that's what I like it on. VBOS. This is one of the settings that you're going to want to mess with yourself because uh, this is either going to help or not help some people. I think it's dependent on graphics cards and stuff like that. It seems to help me. So I'm going to leave that on. Uh, alternate blocks is just for texture packs. You can leave that on if you're ever going to use texture packs. Uh, brightness, bright. Now fog, you can turn that fog off and it should make it look uh, make it look like a just you're sitting in a square. Uh, but it definitely helps the game run faster. Uh, I actually prefer fog. I don't know why. I think I'm just weird. I know my friend Chris says I'm really weird for that, but whatever. Next up. You want to go over here to details. This isn't going to mess with anything here because you already turned off fog. Definitely leave that off unless you have 3D glasses, which I actually kind of want to get to play Minecraft in 3D. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, go to default. De default. What the frick is default? I, okay. I need to. I need to speak a little bit slower here. <laughs> but anyways, uh, these should already be like uh, 
defaulted with like your fast setting but you can go ahead and just turn clouds off you can turn this to fast make sure it's on fast uh, you can turn the sky off leave the sun and moon on you want to be able to see when it's getting night and day and whenever the mobs are going to start coming out and all that stuff translucent blocks keep them off fast drop the items fast uh, rain and snow leave it off for best fps if you like rain don't know what's wrong with you but um Leave it off for the best FPS, because especially in texture packs, rain and snow sometimes just really drops down your FPS. So, star is off, capes you can leave that on, health item tooltips you can leave that on. Animations, uh, now I think in the Optifine forms he says to fix the water lag, you turn off like water animation or water, water particles, one of the two. Uh, but to get the best FPS in Minecraft, you just click this all off button. And uh, let's look at the FPS now, we're in the 170s, 160s now. FPS is going up steadily as we mess with the settings here. So now all that's off, you want to go to quality. And make sure all the stuff in here is off. Like, all this is just not on, because this is stuff for quality, obviously. You can leave it all off to increase your FPS in Minecraft. You can see we're in the 180s there for a second. Uh, now, performance is one that this is where you're going to have to mess with some stuff. Uh, fast render. Uh, this is either going to make or break your FPS, I think. I leave it on, it helps my FPS, so you can mess with that setting. Chunk updates, always leave that on one. Don't mess with it. Uh, it just it messes it up for me. Like, I bet, remember back on my old laptop, this, like, killed a world for me, actually. It made a world completely unplayable, messing with the chunk updates. Um, load far, this just makes it load far all the time. Uh, that's obviously not going to help your FPS at all if you're having problems. So, yeah, leave that off. Fast math, I have not messed with this setting. You can mess with this. I don't know if I've. Um, I'm probably gonna try messing with it eventually. I messed with it earlier. It didn't really seem to do anything for me. But you can mess with that setting and figure out what that helps your FPS or not. Smooth world. This might help your FPS again. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't. I don't know if it helps mine. Uh, you can try that out yourself to see if it helps your FPS. Uh, I don't know. Preloaded chunks. Leave that off. That just uh, decreases your FPS. As it says down there. Don't leave it. 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 it no. Just no. Dynamic updates, same thing. It makes uh, forces more chunk updates while you're standing still. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing. I'll leave it off. Now, here's the single core CPU thing. Lazy chunk loading. If you have a single core CPU, you might want to mess with this setting to see if it gives you better FPS. Max, I'm talking to you. If you want to try this out, you can. Uh, but yeah, I'm leaving it off because it doesn't affect my computer, obviously. And lastly, we have other here. Other settings. I don't know what this is. Oh, I do. Yes, uh, you can leave it off. Forget better FPS, you can leave this off to get better FPS, weather off obviously to get better FPS, uh, auto save, always have that at 30 minutes, even if your computer is like, I don't know, from like outer space or something, it runs everything, leave it on 30 minutes, it helps, trust me. And there's one last setting that I'm going to try here, but let's take a look at our FPS right now, so I'm going to run around, I don't even know where my house is in here, this is my OP world too, but yeah, I'm in 180s, 160s right now, it's running smooth, oh there's my house. It's running smooth right now. It doesn't look very good, but it's running smooth. I'm in 160s right now while recording, which is awesome. But there's still one more setting we can try. If you're still having FPS problems after doing all of this, there is still hope for you. Trust me, because there's a setting here that I'm going to enable. You're going to want to go to Options, Video Settings, Other, and go to Full Screen Mode. And you want to take it all the way down to the lowest it can go, which is 640 by 480. I'm going to have to stop the recording and start it back up whenever I do this, because uh, it's going to stop it anyways. So, uh, one sec. Okay, so I dropped it down to 640 by 480, and yeah, we're in the we're in the 190s right now, in the 80s. Look at that! Wow, 200s, and look at that. So that is definitely how you would get the best FPS out of Minecraft, I'd say, because I'm in the 200s right now, and Minecraft is running really fast right now without having that debug thing up. I'm getting like into the 300s and stuff like that as well. Uh, so yeah, that is the guide on how to improve your FPS in Minecraft. Now from here, uh, what you can do is you can turn uh, the full screen mode back to default, back to default here, and you can turn uh, you know weather back on, you can mess with all these settings, you can you know, drag your window distance up a little bit, you can turn on smooth lighting if you want, you can mess with all these settings to uh, see if you can even out the performance um, with the uh, looks. And that is pretty much my guide on how to get the best FPS in Minecraft. I hope this really helped you out. Um, I'm not really the best at guides, but I felt that, you know, it was a good idea to make this guide to 
take you on my approach to improving your FPS in Minecraft, since I think it is different from some, from some people. Some people will just try to like say you can use these settings to make it look good and run good at the same time, but mine is to make it look terrible but get the best FPS and then go up from there. You can mess with these settings, you know, like I said, once you drop everything down to low, you can start adding stuff back, you know, you can start adding back all the animations, you know, you can mess with the settings a little bit and figure out what runs good for you. Uh, but that is pretty much all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this video helped you out, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, drop a like if you want. I really appreciate any support I can get. Uh, hopefully this guide helped you guys out. Um, I mean, older me would be, or younger me would be proud because I had like this really old computer that freaking sucked. I don't know. I think I've told you all about it. It was just a terrible computer. If, I, if my old, uh, younger me watched this video, he'd be happy because I didn't know about all this stuff back then. Like how low I could really make Minecraft go to get the best FPS. But hope you enjoyed the guide. Hopefully it helped you out. Um, I mean, I, I hope I did it right. I mean, because I think I felt like I did it really good, you know, bringing it down to low as it can go and then telling you all, you know, how you can get it back up to look good and run good at the same time. Hopefully I did a good job. Uh, I've never been the best at guides and stuff, but uh, hopefully I did really good. So uh, anyone that has an older or slower computer, you could probably actually try recording now if you have it on some settings. I, I would give it a shot. Uh, but whatever, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hope the guide helped you. Don't forget to drop a comment. Let me know if it did. And uh, that's all. So I'm going to go now. <laughs> Hopefully the guide helped you. I will see you guys later. Peace out and have yourself an amazing day.